Welcome, welcome in everybody. We're gonna get started very shortly. Stick around. Al, Papa G, what's going on everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in everybody. We're gonna be getting started in a couple minutes.
couple more minutes, guys. I'm just finishing cleaning up this pot I need to use, so just give me one sec. Is that Nate Double Dog himself? Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show episode 8. What's going on everyone? How you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome in. Tonight we're going to be doing some pan seared sockeye salmon for you guys. Super excited. Love me some salmon. We got some salmon lovers up in chat. What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome. Let me get my chat bracken. Okay, okay. Coming in with them subs nice and early. Okay, I see you. Um, Alex coming in with a T1 sub for 10 months on a one month streak. Alyssa coming through with a T1 for 15 months. Thank you so much, guys, for the resubs. Janu Jr. in the chat with Bracken. Nate Double Dog, Papa G, Mama, what's going on? Miss Kaylee Brienne with Babis. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Happy to be here tonight. We got some good food cracking tonight. Um, we're going to be doing a pan-seared sockeye salmon. Um, we're going to be doing some... Um, uh, spicy corn. We're, we got all sorts of chilies, a little roasted red pepper we're going to put in there. Uh, it's going to be so good with some fresh cilantro. Um, and then we're going to be doing a garlic uh, ginger mash. Ginger with the salmon, you know what I mean? A little bit of a, a little mix match right there. It's going to be delicious. Mac and cheese, baby. Oh yeah, I just made some mac and cheese for Caden. Caden's upstairs having dinner with mom. Um, he's having his little mac and, mac and cheese. We just made him a little... Uh, bunny pasta shaped mac and cheese for the kid um so what's going on everybody welcome in welcome in um so let's go ahead and get started guys we got a lot to get done we got to get our potatoes cracking first and foremost for our mash um i'm thinking we might also make a little bit of a compound butter this butter cooks down fast enough or uh if we can defrost it maybe we'll make a little compound butter too um but let's go ahead and get started where's koopa loop yeah where's koop at uh, let's get our potatoes going, guys. We need to get those in water. So we got a pot of cold water we got over here on the stove. We're basically going to slice our potatoes. Um, we're going to leave the skin on. We're not peeling them. We're going to put them in our water. We're going to get that started from cold water. You never want to start on hot water because it's going to cook the outside of the potatoes to mush by the time that center, um, that thick center is cooked. So remember, always start in cold water. Super important. Oh, shit. Son, what's going on? 
So does that make you the Mac Daddy? Shit. What's going on, Arya son? All right, let's go ahead and get cracking, guys. We'll move over to our cutting board. We got some taters here. We're gonna get chopped up. Go ahead and peep that um, that recipe if you guys need to. We've got all the ingredients listed that we're gonna be using tonight. So we're gonna just uh, get our potatoes chopped all evenly. Get them thrown in that cold water. Potatoes oxidize like a banana. So um, super important that when you are cutting your potatoes, you're not leaving them out because they will start to oxidize on you. So how's everyone doing on this fine Monday night? Start to the week for a lot of you. Some of you like me might be the end of your week. What's going on everybody? What are you guys doing tonight? Who's making dinner? What's, what's going on? Welcome in chat. What are we cooking? Wisconsin 1983. Welcome, welcome. Tonight we are going to be cooking up some sockeyed salmon. Welcome. Everyone welcome Wisconsin 1983 in. I cheated. I went to Arby's. What'd you get from Arby's? All right. A couple more potatoes to chop up. Just want to make sure they're all even, right? You don't want any cooking faster than the other. A good amount of potatoes. Sorry, we'll, we can keep some leftovers. Caden loves him some potatoes. I need to get my uh, my rags. Damn sun, very nice. Yes, it is gonna be very nice. Cannot wait to get this plate going with you guys. Um, let me grab my rags. Ugh. Had a very accomplished day so far. I completely redid my fridge, cleaned it out, top to bottom. Same with my cabinets. Everything's looking good in the kitchen. Super, super excited. The buffalo chicken sandwich, yum yum. Haven't had it from there before. Is it is it good? I love poblanos, absolutely. Are you a chef? I am a trained chef, not currently working as a chef, uh, besides here on Monday and Wednesday nights with you guys. Um, but yes, I am a trained, French trained chef. All right. Potatoes are done. We're gonna turn our heat. Remember, cold water, ladies and gentlemen, cold water. Don't don't want to cook the outside of the potatoes too fast. We're gonna turn it on high. We're gonna um, put our top on. I need to put some salt. Help that water temp rise and also season up the potatoes a tad bit with some salt. All right, potatoes are done. Let's get the knife cleaned off. You don't want to get that raw potato mixed with anything. If your cutting board gets annihilated in raw potato, make sure you go ahead and uh, and clean it off, replace it, get a new one. Very nice. So, uh, oh, Shawnee, what's going on? We got everyone stopping in. Shawnee, what's going on, baby? Oh, shit. Kaylee coming through with a gifted T1 sub over to Wisconsin. Welcome to the family tree, Wisconsin. Kaylee, thanks, babe. Thanks for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Welcome to the family tree. Let's get some cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen, for Wisconsin joining the family tree. Thank you very much. Um, all right, so potatoes are in. Those are going to take the longest. We're going to get those cracking. Um, we can season our salmons up. We'll go ahead and get our fillets seasoned. Uh, we need to get our uh, peppers roasting. We want that roasty, smoky flavor mixed with our corn. We also got to get our corn, uh, corn boiling. I got a pot we're going to get set up right now. Ugh. You know, I'm thinking since I have so many peppers, or peppers and chilies that I'm gonna go ahead and just roast them off in the oven. We're gonna put that oven on a, a broil. 
We're going to grab us a little pan with some foil. We're just going to roast these babies off, broil, let those oils come out, release, season them up with a little oil, salt, pepper. So they're going to be added to our corn. Let's get our corn pots cracking. Just got home from work, got some shitty Togos. Oh, not into Togos. I wish I was eating some of your meals. I wish too, man. Like back in the day. Roommate gang. All right, let's get some water cracking for our corn. Mm -mm -mm. I love Togos pastrami. I don't think I've had the pastrami from there. That's exactly what I got, how funny. Togos can hit dank level on occasion. I haven't had Togos in a mini. Drew, a meal prep for me? I'll pay you? Shit, I wish, baby. Peppers? Oh, yes, I hate to go. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be working with jalapeno pepper, a red pepper, an Anaheim chili, and a poblano or pasilla chili. Okay? I'm sure, stickers are taken off. Um, let's get our oil. I'm going to grab me some extra virgin. I'm going to lay a little bit down on my foil. Place these on. We're going to hit it with some oil. Of course, i got to re-up my, my salt. Look how low we're getting. I got some over there. We're gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. Remember, always wanna season up whatever you're, whatever you're cooking. Gotta bring out that flavor, baby. Togo's triple triple dip, though, sounds gnarly. Better than Subway. Oh, absolutely. Old school. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get let's get some um, okay, okay, okay. let's get some uh, topics going in chat like we've been doing the last couple weeks. Um, I'm gonna start it off tonight, and then you, whoever wants to go ahead and grab a topic, go right ahead. What, what, what's your favorite sandwich place, ladies and gentlemen? Are we looking at whether it's commercial, franchised, or mom and pop? What's your favorite sandwich place? If you get, go grab a sandy. Um, Bizzle thirty two coming in with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very, very, very much. Bizzle32, welcome to the family tree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cousin Drew emotes in chat. All my subs for Bizzle joining the family tree. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. And Wisconsin, thank you so much for the follow. Um, love it. Thank you so much, guys. Gyro from my work. Jersey Mike's, Togo's. Okay, okay. I'm talking about like Capanos. You know what I mean? Monterey. Every, all y'all from Monterey that have Campanos, that's what I'm talking about. If I'm going for a sandwich and I'm up north, I'm going to Campanos. Alright, I'm going to trim the ends off me corn. I don't think I can even... How many of these can I even fit? Take a little water out. I think I'll only need, like, three. Sprouts Deli Sandwich. Oh, puts a mean meatball sub together. Shawnee, I remember. I only eat strictly at Kiyoki's. Oh, I know that. All about that loco moco. Oh, Al, you don't got to tell me, bro. We know where you be. I need to zoom in. There we go. Okay, okay. Now I can read. Go out one. Okay. All right. So I'm using the new Twitch dashboard, right? It's actually really sick. So, perfect, perfect, perfect. I like the layout of it a lot more. I make a mean Rachel. What do you mean by that? Is that a joke I'm not catching? Huh, maybe we will. Maybe I'm gonna cut them all. I don't have another big pot 
like that anymore. I did, but I got rid of it. And I beat the hell out of that thing, and I did a lot of deep frying in it. So, oh, that's good. That'll work. Perfect. I just needed to cut one more of them up. Sam and I made garlic parmesan mac and cheese last night, enjoying the leftovers. Yum! Did you guys make it like from scratch out, or did you just grab a mac and cheese and kind of manipulate it? Sounds great, man. You gotta take pictures of these things, Alex. I wanna see. All right, we're popping our corn back in. Checking our oven. We've got a nice high temp. We're gonna start roasting these biz off. Potato water's heating up. Spent Brass 45, welcome, welcome. Um, echo, Echo, Echo. Huh. No, I don't. There shouldn't be an Echo. Are you guys having an Echo problem? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, guys, I got it. My bad, my bad. I got it. So what happened was on the new dashboard, since I'm using the new dashboard, um, I didn't have it uh, muted. It, I, it's normally muted, but since I'm using a new one, it wasn't muted. I got it, I got it. That should be good, let me know, guys. And uh, Spent Brass 45, um, I don't think I've seen you pop up in chat before. Welcome, everybody, everybody in chat, welcome Spent Brass. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, okay. I, that that should have fixed it, guys. Let me know. Let me know. All right, let's get our salmon fillets cracked a lacking, ladies and gentlemen. And then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll put those back in the fridge. Um, we got some cilantro to chop. We'll make a compound butter. I'll just defrost in the microwave. I'll teach you guys how to do that. All better? Yeah, it should be good. It should be good. So everyone in chat, any salmon lovers in chat? Oh, damn. I didn't realize that I got these at the deli counter. These are kind of kind of frozen in the middle. All right, that's fine with me. We'll season them, and we'll just let them sit in that case. I wasn't aware, or else I would have had these babies uh, sitting out. But that's no biggie. It's actually way worse now. Sorry, what? Sue, I, whatever you're watching it on is uh, it's tripping. Salmon's a top tier fish. I can't agree enough. Wisconsin with a hell yeah. I think she's kidding. I prefer teriyaki. I like me some teriyaki. Uh, 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 what do I want to put you in? Where did I put it? There we go. I got Caden's freaking little song stuck in my head. It's not okay. <laughs> I'm a lurker. Found you from Chris Blackwood's stream. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate the lurk. I'm glad you um, glad you decided to participate in chat. I always always love chopping it up and meeting new people. So uh, thanks for sticking around and appreciate it. And again, Bizzle, thanks for the prime, man. Appreciate that very much. Love butchering it every day. Sarcasm here, folks. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're all about that sarcasm. Don't even worry. All right, so. El Samol. Hit it with a little olive oil. So the, the residual olive oil is going to go to the bottom. And we're going to, like, let that, sin, that skin kind of soak it in. You know what I mean? The skin's going to soak it in. And um, it's gonna help crisp up that skin, getting that, getting it kind of saturated and all that fat. So let's grab some spices. I'm gonna also fill up my salt real quick. I gotta re-up that. 
I buy me a big box of kosher salt, so never can run out of salt. Just just got a refill. There we go. I'm gonna grab a couple spices, guys. Give me a sec. Okay, so we got some spices, and then we're also going to do um, a little lemon zest on there. So we're going to grab the micro blade. I was serious, got it now, but it's worse, but okay, okay, glad. I thought you could cook chicken in the microwave, though. Yeah, Sean, do it. See what happens, dude. Um, all right, guys. Whoever wants to go for it, what's the next topic in chat, ladies and gentlemen? We're starting the next topic. Jackie usually is firing away. She seems to be busy ATM. Whoever is bringing up the next topic, shoot, baby. Let's keep the conversation going. All right, a little salt, pepper. We're going to hit it with a little garlic powder, right? Never have too much garlic. We're gonna go a little splash of paprika. We're gonna get a little kick of that cayenne. Um, it's gonna complement the oregano and the lemon zest very nicely. A little chili powder. Okay. And then we're gonna hit it with some dry oregano. We're gonna crust up that side so all the seasonings cook nicely into the fish. You're gonna have a nice, like, you know, when you taste like the rub on like a piece of meat, pretty much gonna have like a nice little rub at the top of the salmon. You feel me? Favorite episode so far? Well, thank you, babe. Favorite chef? Um, favorite chef, as in celebrity, we're going Bobby Flay. Is pineapple okay on pizza? Chenzo, what's going on? Olo Sticks, welcome, welcome. Yes, it is. Pineapple, jalapeno, red onion, red pepper flakes, and fresh parmesan on pizza is delicious. He's my son. <laughs> yes. All right, let's grab a lemon, guys. We're gonna zest that on. And then we're gonna let our salmon just kind of chill and defrost a tad bit. We'll check on our chilies in a moment. Oh, dill, sorry, we need to throw some dill on here too. All right, so we got our fresh lemon zest. And those of you guys that are uh, cook like to cook at home, salmon is very, um, very you know, user friendly as far as people who are kind of hesitant to cook it. So you can't really fuck up salmon unless you overcook it. And as long as that's the one rule not to do, it's not too hard to be in control of that. All right, fresh lemon zest, rinsing off the micro blade real quick. Flay, nice. Yeah, I'm a big flay guy. I've tried defrosting chicken before, just looked like the chicken every time, and it just cooked it. Yeah, don't ever, ever defrost in a microwave meat like that. It's disgusting. You're pretty much cooking it. Marco Pierre White. Not quite sure if I know much about Marco Pierre White. What's going on, Chens? How was your day? All their jokes are cringeworthy. Lions, 19, Packers, 13. I figured that the Lions were going to take it tonight. Uh, who are you guys taking on the games tonight? I'm taking Lions, and um, I'm a, I am was going for the cards, but damn. Nationals are getting them. Chilling? Did you work today, Olo Sticks? Man, these potatoes need to get going, baby. All right, let's grab our dill. Chilies are starting to heat up. Starting to hear some crackles and pops. We got our fresh dill. Let me move my, uh, my seasonings. All right, so we got some fresh dill here. We're just gonna take some sprigs. Just kind of tear it up. Drop it on top. Just kind of want to distribute the dill out a little bit. Dill's very, very strong, so a little bit goes a long way. And like I said, we're gonna kinda crust it in up there, so you get you get a nice, nice dill flavor. A bit more. Dill and salmon are like peanut butter and jelly together.
I'll peep him, Wisconsin. I'm sure I've heard of him. It's not ringing a bell. All right, so we got our salmon guys chilling. We're gonna let that kind of just defrost, let the flavors come, come together. Um, I think we're gonna do the compound butter. This is defrosting actually really good. Our corn is starting to boil. Rotate that one piece. All right, we're gonna let that go. Our potato water is pretty much about to be boiling, so the potatoes are hooking up nicely. Lemon pepper salmon, yum, and lemon pepper anything. Shenzo with them wings, though. Really, listen, you got food poisoning, huh? Boiled corn, yeah, we're gonna boil it and then we're gonna saute it all together um, and finish it with some fresh cilantro. But we're gonna combine it with all these peppers. Let's pull our peps out, get an idea of how far they're roasted. Yeah, make some flips and adjustments, they're looking good. Starting to blister up nicely. Take it over to the cutting board for you guys. Me, Jamin, and Rob just had some lemon pep the other night. Yum. Can never go wrong. All right, so we got some blistering happening on the top of our Anaheim. The bottom is nice and hot. Oh, yeah. We got the, ro looks like the red pepper and the poblano are going to take the longest, but these still do also have time. So we flipped them, apply a little more salt, a little pep. Back into the oven we go. Let's get cracking on our compound butter, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you guys that don't know what a compound butter is, basically a compound butter is a butter that you have at room temp that's, you know, you can whip. And basically we're gonna throw a bunch of ingredients into it. Then we're gonna throw it back in the fridge and we're gonna let it harden. And what we're gonna do with ours is we're gonna finish our salmon tonight with that uh, slice of compound butter on it. So it melts with all that ingredients kind of soaked into it on top. We've done one before, it's been a minute though. Yeah, it was awful. Chenzo's dad tricked me into eating rabbit, told me it was chicken. Hey, I love rabbit, rabbit's good. Drew, what's your favorite thing to cook? Man, I like to cook everything. I don't know if I have a absolute, you know, favorite. But my apple pork chop, man, that might be one of my favorites. We had smoked salmon risotto at the hospital. Your dad took us and it was amazing. Nate, that sounds so good. Wow, those look great. Good thing y'all ate the poisoned salmon at the hospital. You didn't have to go too far. No, no. <laughs> Jackie, I think you, I think you missed that. <laughs> All right, so let's get our butter going. So we're gonna need some garlic. Um, I have a shallot right here. We got lemon zest we're gonna put in there, salt, pepper. Maybe we'll put a little ginger in the uh, in the compound butter too. Spicing it up even more. All right. some herbs also we'll throw in there so let's get get to shopping I'm just gonna keep my butter kind of over here let it kind of melt down with the warm counter peppers look good they smell good too two different salmons yeah next up Alex rabbits with extra <laughs> you may need a hairnet on that goat she it Thing is so long now. Caden likes to pull on it. Right. Looks like our corn's getting close. 
horn looks good. Let's check the big one. Oh yeah. Our corn is finished. We're gonna go ahead and drain it. Woo! See it. That's what my lungs looks like. All right, we're gonna let it chill. Let that cool down. Potatoes are at a boil, which means they're going. They'll be done soon. Let's get our butter going. So let's get some garlic minced. good thing about a compound butter is it's super versatile. Um, when I learned to make it in culinary school, it was actually for chicken, uh, grilled chicken actually, that we did, like a springtime grilled vibe chicken. Um, yeah, that's enough garlic for just our little butter. Um, and it was actually really, really, really good the way we finished them. So yeah, like I said, you know, you can never make too much. You can always you know, make some chicken the next night, throw it on there, maybe a different fish. Drew, what are you going to do for No Shave November in the show? Um, that's a good question, Nate. Maybe we should come up with something. Drew can't even handle No Nut November. He's not going to trim up. Yeah, that's what you seen, Caden. Can't handle it, though. All right. Let's finish mincing. Then we'll get our shallot chopped. We'll get some ginger chopped some herbs, and then we'll go ahead and combine our butter together. I'm gonna check those chilies in a second. I think they're probably about done. At least the smaller ones, that is. All right, let me just get this garlic off my hands. Let's go peek at our, our peppers. They go quick. Yeah, we already got a crazy color. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, you guys can see that? Oh, yeah. Done, baby. So, our chilies have completely roasted. You know, that red bell could kind of go back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our finished products. I'm gonna throw that red one back in. All right, so we're throwing this one back in. We're gonna get that a little longer. All right, these we are gonna go ahead, grab some saran wrap. And we're gonna wrap them with foil, um, and we're gonna let them steam so we can just peel the outer skin off, so we don't have that when we mince them up and it's mixed in with the corn, because the skin just tends to be a little bit off-putting, the texture in your mouth. So we're just gonna let those steam with some plaster wrap over them. We're gonna set them to the side, let them do their thing. All right, let's check on a potato. See where we're at. I'm gonna grab a fork. I'm just stabbing them to see how fork tender. I got a little bit longer. Flipping my butter. All right, back to the butter. I vote no shave, and then in December you can screw around with funky stashes and goatee. And I also shave the vote a shot of JMO. Got it, there. Cheers, Nate Dizzle. Woo! That was nice. I'm gonna turn that off and let it finish. All right, let's get back to our minced garlic. Finish this up. Got sidetracked enough there, getting a couple things taken care of. Remember, multitasking, just gotta stay, stay on top of it, try not to forget. 
one of the hardest things about cooking is managing, you know, everything. But it just takes just takes uh, repetition. All right, so we got some nice finely minced garlic. We want it to be pretty finely chopped because um, it's going in the butter. You don't want to have you know one bite with like an obnoxiously big piece of garlic. For the for most people, I wouldn't mind, but. Shot for shot. All right, all right. I'll see you. All right. Let's get some shallot. Babe, you can bring down our boy whenever. I'm sure everyone wants to see him. You were probably already about to. We're always on the same uh, wavelength of shit about that. All right, so we got our shallot. Decisions to start the dice up for us. One little slice in. Nate, I see you killing it on that apex. All those snaps you sent me and shit, bro. I was like, damn. All right, so now we gotta, you know, start it out. Nice and minced already, but we need to make sure there's like the little bottom parts that kind of jump away from you in the process sometimes. So just give it another chop through after you go to make sure it's all consistent. All right, perfect. Shallot, garlic, check, check. Let's get our ginger going. Hey, my man Ian, what's going on, baby? Welcome, welcome. Uh, those of you guys that uh, in chat that play Apex, watch Apex, follow my boy Ian. Shout out to Ian. Uh, dude just did a crazy 24 hour stream the other day. I don't even know how the hell you do that, bro. All right, chili's perfect. Transfer that into our bowl ski. it's covered so it keeps steaming let's get our hot pan out the way way okay get all our chilies wrapped up steaming so we can peel them I can smell the garlic it's so bomb was there a JMO yeah there was JMO you want another one come on now Once it gets dark, I can pop this open and get my little breeze in here because, whoo, it's hot. Whoo. All right, check the taters real quick. They're looking good. We're going to let them go a tad bit longer and then they're going to be done. Oven's off. Let's get some ginger. No, we know how you get. <laughs> oh, Ryan. <laughs> That's why I do the green stuff, man. I like it. I'm not a big alcohol guy. But on the show, I do some JMO with you guys. Love me some JMO. Off. All right, I'm just kind of peeling with my knife, my ginger. Just kind of going along, getting all that skin off. The skin's super bitter, so just make sure you you peeled most of that skin off before you before you dice. We're just gonna get a couple sheets. Don't need too much. Ginger super super strong. Ginger go little ginger goes a long long way.
Alright. We got some ginger. That might be honestly like too much ginger. We might not use all that. We'll see. Remember, finely minced. Alright. We got our garlic, our shallot, and our ginger. Favorite type of pizza. Favorite type of pizza, Italian sausage, and pretty much any veggie. What about you guys? Pepperoni, jalapeno, mushroom, olive, okay. Always dip in ranch. Toppers, yum, yum, yum. I had Pizza Man Dan's the other night, right? It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna turn our pot off with our water. Um, we're gonna get those potatoes drained momentarily. I'm gonna use my big colander for all the potatoes. Let's set it up. Okay, um, we gotta do some herbs for our butter. A little bit of herbage. Do a little fresh parsley. I'm not gonna put cilantro in the compound butter because we're gonna be doing the cilantro in the corn, so. Creamy garlic chicken pizza, yum. I was just asking, gotta try Dan's. Yeah, no, it was good. It was really good. I did, we did like, I did like a small, and I had three, three pieces, which ended up turning into four. So Kaylee let me have half of one that I started eating when I, so, you know, did not want to have to leave any leftovers behind, but I did, left her, left her her pieces. And then she saw how bad I wanted that, one of her pieces that I already bit, so she gave it to me. So she had two pieces, but there, I mean, honestly, it's, I, it's thick and uh, it's filling, but God, they have some good dough. It was really good. Tasted very similar to Toppers, to be honest. Alright guys, here's our little smorgan board. So we got our parsley, we got our ginger, our shallot. Who orders a small pizza? Someone that's not trying to be able to eat an entire pizza to themselves, because I will. Don't tempt me. Come on. Alright. Potatoes are chilling, so they're fork tender, looking perfect. We're gonna drain this, all right, into my colander over here. Okay, we're gonna reserve our pot though, because they're going back. After all that water kind of comes out, they're going right back in. Skin is left on, guys. Definitely left on. Oh yeah, our butter is perfect. That's crazy how that happened to work out. That's awesome. Throw this back in. All right, so let's get a little uh, bowl for our compound butter we're gonna be making. These are just draining. Pops! Pops coming through with a 12 month resub. Thank you so much, Dad. What's going on? Everyone, welcome Pops back in the channel. It's been a minute, and now you're on vacation. 2213, hey. What's going on, Dad? Welcome, welcome. What's going on, everybody? All right, salmon's good. We're gonna clean these off in a minute. Our corn is chilled. We're looking good. So what we're gonna do, guys, Take a stick of butter. I got more than a stick. I got a stick and I got about a quarter over there. So we're gonna put a stick. Another quarter. 
and rinse my hands. Just got home from a homeowners associating meeting. Yikes. Sounds boring. 8-1. One. one time Kaylee and I actually were at the pool in the jacuzzi, chilling, right? Absolutely chilling. And we notice I'm putting some salt, some pepper. We notice um, some people waiting over by the table area, right? We're like, all right, you know, whatever. They're probably like chilling, whatever. And um, all of a sudden, after like 10 minutes or so, people just start fucking coming from everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Um, and all of a sudden, all these people are gathering up. We're like, what is going on? And all of a sudden, they just straight up start this homeowners associating meeting at the pool area while we're in the hot tub, just chilling. And it was, I mean, people are arguing and they're talking about the funniest topics ever. Like, it was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh. It was just so fun. And we just, we, we were like, okay, like, we chilled for a little and then we're like, all right, let's go. And we get out of the pool and we're like, it's... It got like dead quiet. Everyone's just staring at us, and we're like in our bathing suits, like hi. And we just walked by and like ran out. It was so funny. We crack up about that all the time, actually. I believe that was on a Monday night. Luckily, we're here on Monday nights now, which y'all. All right, so we just put some fresh lemon zest. So guys, we got fresh garlic, fresh ginger. Fresh Italian parsley, fresh shallots, salt, pepper. I'm gonna put a little more pep, a little more salt. All right, and our butter. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kinda pound out my butter so I can start mixing. We're just gonna mix all of our ingredients into our butter, right? Make sure it distributes evenly for when we roll it up. All right, we're looking good. All right, perfect. All right, so we have our compound butter made. So this is gonna be the trick now. So first, let's, uh, we're gonna get our potatoes put back into the pot, let them steam, kind of let all that excess liquid go away. Oh, that's not too hot. All right, so I'm gonna get those back in. Run some hot water through my colander. Oh, sprayed my mouth. Not good. Alright. Just gonna get that potato out. If you let potato if you let like starch and stuff, like cake up, pasta, whatever, in your colanders, they're so annoying to get out. So make sure you you pre-rinse those things. It's so annoying. Alright. Was it in English? Yes, thank God. Luckily, they didn't have residents there. It was executive session meeting, just the board. Oh, okay, okay. He has the he had. Has she ever listened to the advice? <laughs> didn't know you ran it. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Pop back on. Let that steam on low. We're gonna grab saran wrap. We're gonna make our compound butter and put it in the fridge. We do have some leftover stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and move my cutting board for a second. We need that space. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out some saran wrap. Try to do it as flat as possible. Come on now. Where'd you bend? In? Oh, ow. 
All right. So let's try to make it as plush as possible. How was the trip, Dad? The cruise. All right. Who are you talking about, Nala? All right, so we got our saran wrap down. We're gonna grab our butter. Sure you get all of it. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna kind of roll it. Like you're, like you're rolling a bleezy. Okay. Oh, wash my hand off. Got a little greasy there. Actual size, Shawnee? Shh. Not you. We know how that mushroom, mushroom tip. All right, so we're gonna twist. Make it nice and tight. Okay. I twist and then I kind of tie it off at the end, like a almost like you're making like a sausage. Okay. All right, so we got our butter, guys. Looks like a right nice little round beat. We're gonna throw that into the refrigerator, let it harden. We'll check in and kind of roll it. Um, let's peel our peppers and let's get our mash mash going. Um, we'll start our salmons. So we're gonna start our salmon and our corn together at the end. Um, so. We'll, we'll, we'll just do all of them together. Right when we start the salmon, we'll get our mix going for the mashed potatoes. And at the same time, we're gonna start our saute with our corn. We do need to shave our corn though. So uh, we're gonna do that. Portobello tip, baby. <laughs> we just went on a four night cruise and loved it too. So fun and the food was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruise, man, we haven't been forever. All right, let's get our cut and board actually. Yeah, so we're gonna peel, key and peel. I need to see the camera. I could reserve all that. Is that where I'm? Yeah, that's what I did. All right, so let's move all this to the very edge. We're gonna peel our peppers. So, oof, they're still hot. So I'm gonna do it under cold water. But you can see, see how I just peeled that off. That's a nice film right there that you don't want sitting in the roof of your mouth. I got a surprise for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. A little surprise, surprise. Pops coming through with the 300 bitties. Hey yo, thanks for the bits, Pops. Appreciate it. Everyone in chat got a little surprise for you guys. Hi, you got a clean little bathed man here for everybody. Oh, say hello. Say hello. Oh, my boy. Say hi. Nanu and Papa G. Nani. All your cousins. Oh. He's a sleepy man. Is that Auntie Liz and Uncle Nate? What's Mama doing? What's Mama doing? He's all like that. What do we got here, buddy? We got some peppers. We got some salmon. You wanna try some, you love, you wanna eat some salmon? A little bite? You're awake? 
He ate what? Oh wow, okay. So he's gonna sleep good. <laughs> All right. Say your bias, you got your thumb? Say bye everybody. Sleepy boy. Say bye. I love you, son. Mwah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, big boy. We're trying to teach him bye bye so he doesn't scream and freak out when when we like leave and stuff. <laughs> so he gets all pissed. Alright. Oh, it's kind of cooled down a little bit. So I'm just scraping with my fingers. And um, because we steamed it, it's coming off nice and easy. See? See that? That's why you steam it. If you don't, it's way more difficult to peel. So just empty all that off, get that skin off, and then we're gonna dice it and get it all ready to uh, be sauteed up and create our spicy corn. Okay. Okay, that red pepper is the hottest thing on the entire planet. Yeah, the Anaheim, look how nicely that peeled. Perfect. It's nice when it works the way it's supposed to. Every now and then you'll get one that, I don't know what it, what it is, but it's like it wasn't fully ripened or something, but the skin will just be a pain in the ass. But I'd say eight out of 10 times, you, you, you do this the exact same way by steaming it and stuff, it's gonna peel, but you know, every once in a while you get that one that wants to be an ass. When you come out here, you gotta try our works poblano sauce. I would absolutely love to. I'd love me some poblans. Jalapeno. Get a little bit off. Not too not too much on the jalapeno. The jalapeno skin isn't too thick. But this red pepper though. Bell pepper's got big time skin. Look at that. So if you if you're doing bell peppers, be prepared. You want every bit off. That's a thick film. I mean, it's notice. It's so noticeable when you're eating it. It'll get stuck like on your teeth and stuff. There we go. Man, that is hot. Hot as hell. Like liquid hot magma. All right. We are just about done. Peeling. There's a little bit right here and that's it. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. Sanitation pinky going in. I also got a nice bee part for us to experiment when you come out. All right, Dad, I'm down. I had no idea you're supposed to take the skin off. Only when you roast it, Shawnee, because what's happening is the oils um, are releasing, right? And it's kind of loosening off that outer skin um, and that's why we steamed it after to trap all that in there um, steam it more release release right and then it just comes off like super nice so let's trim our corn and then we're going to get started on everything potatoes are steaming up looks like all our liquid is out they're on a nice little low temp got to peek at them real quick beef heart what are you thinking we're gonna do with the beef heart? I'm down though. Gross. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna shave off our corn. The only thing you don't wanna do here is go too low and get too much of the rind in, but you also don't wanna miss corn, so just find that sweet spot. We got corn lovers in chat. Put a cousin Drew emo if you are a corn lover. I am a corn lover, like me mother. That shit corny, dog. All right. That one I went a little, ro little low on the grind. I could feel it. That's all right. I could see it in that one, but it's not too bad.
I guess I'll, I'm gonna do all of it um, so we can have leftovers. We went to the, we went to, when I went to Germany, there was a place we went to that sold bull testicles. And let me guess, Sean, you asked for the bull testicles rare and on your chin. I figured, I figured. All right, last piece of corn. We're doing the big daddy. corn down. They have chicken nuts. <laughs> Wanted the extra juice. Damn, Sean. You're getting all, all crazy on me, bro. Alright. Corn is corn is looking good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I got to chop these chilies up, so I'm going to move my corn. back into the pot for now. And then I can break it up in there too and not make a mess. Hi, Days. Okay. I figured out we can totally do a, da a quick Daisy cam watch. Give me a sec. Do this. Come here. Sit. Good girl. Hi, sweetie. You say hi to everybody. Oh yeah. Here's the girl. Here's the good girl. Yeah. We got some salmon, all right? Chill. All right. There's a little daisy cam. Nate Dio Dub coming through with the 500 biddies. My dude, thank you, thank you. Um, I do have some great news, ladies and gentlemen. I discovered, after being, you know, having some time away from Twitch, I came to discover that I have access to, I think, four more emotes. So, I'm when I get some free time, I will be creating some new emotes which we will bump, be bumping up in chat. You guys are gonna be stoked. I do have some great ideas in mind. Jackie, if you're still there, I may need you for a couple. All right, we're gonna chop our, our peppers up. So yeah, they have a lot of liquid coming out. Oh, we need to gut the seeds too. You know what, I'm gonna do that underwater. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip the top out with all the seeds. I'm gonna tear it in half. And then you can see all the guts and seeds and I'm gonna rinse it under cold water. And I'm gonna get all those seeds off. Seeds are no bueno. Okay. I got some paper towels. I'm just gonna try to get all that residual off, get it on the paper towel. Make sure you have all the seeds. Okay. Cool. You're gonna get release that big stem part. Split in half with your finger. It's nice and easy. And then uh, and get those seeds out. Last or almost the last one. You don't have to be too crazy and delicate. Like, we're just going to chop these up. I mean, you want to keep them pretty bodied so we get a nice, consistent cut. But other than that, you don't have to be, like, all crazy and sensitive with them. Nate just knocked me out of first. Damn. Nate taking first on pops. I love it. Thanks, Nate. You know I appreciate that, brother. You guys are too kind. Appreciate all the uh, all the bits, man. 
like Shawnee going off the other night, man. Thanks, Shawnee. Can't say that shit enough. You guys are, you guys are awesome. All right, found a little more skin that I wanted to peel, so I did. All right, you guys can take a peek at what we're looking at now. Turn on my disposal. Just kind of rinse some shit, getting it out the way way. So, chilies are looking good. Let's get as much of that moisture out as we can because we're going to be sauteing them in oil. So, we don't want them steaming. We do want them cooking up a little bit. So, try to get all that moisture out. A few some paper towels, whatever. Got a couple seats sticking around, pull them out. All right. Okay, so a couple things we're gonna start doing. Hey Drew, knock knock. Who's there, Nate? Who's there? All right, we need a pan for our peppers and corn. Ugh. We'll do the salmon and that over here for you guys. We got our potatoes. Does this thing work? <laughs> Grab this. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to try it. Alright, so... I'm gonna get my pan started for my salmon. All right, so here's our goal with the salmons. We're gonna cook them off one by one, right? So you guys can get the full full effect. Jameson, drink. You got it, Papa. You got me. You got me. This is what we're gonna do for the salmon, guys. When you got skin on your salmon, get a nice hot hot pan. We're going medium high, okay? With that medium high, we're gonna let the pan heat. We're gonna get oil dropped. We're gonna drop our salmon, we're gonna hear the sizzle. And after it's about in there for a minute or two, I'm gonna turn down the heat to about a medium. You want the skin to render out, get crispy. If you do it too high, it's gonna burn. So you gotta keep kind of checking it. Once you see that gold crispness start to happen, you know you're A-OK. -okay. Cheers. Ooh. All right, pan's heating up. Dig into our peps real quick. We're gonna do a nice little dice sito. Okay. We'll do some little julienne type cuts there. Get the rest of it lined up. Dice on our roasted pep. Poblano coming in hot, AF. I'm gonna just lay them all down. We're just gonna, we're just gonna annihilate it. There we go. All right, our pan's probably nice and hot. I'm gonna jump over there in just a sec. Okay, let's transfer over. Gonna hit some oil. You gotta have a tablespoon or so because you want that skin to crisp up, right? It's not gonna do that without uh, without fat in the pan. And it's also gonna the fish is gonna absorb a little bit of that oil. Alright, so we're gonna kiss that that bit skin side down, remember? Uh, 
So I got it on like a medium, medium high. What's fa what is everyone's favorite evening drink? Jameson and ginger ale, baby, you already know. I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, fat out now that I see what I'm working with here. Draining a tad bit of oil out. Perfect. Let's uh, dial in on that. Red wine, we know that, baby. I'll stick to the vino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Dialing our our chilies in real quick. So we're gonna get everything going. Poblano. Get our Anaheim's in. I'm in our jollop. Gotta have some jalapeno, you know what I mean? Get that spice kicking. Baby. Let's go check out our salmon, guys. Grab our fish bat. Get an idea. Our skin's looking good. Means we're on the right temperature for right now. We're gonna let that do its thing. So for our potatoes. I need to get some butter, leche, we got, oh, I mixed it, that's all right, that's all right, the ginger and the parsley, that's okay for the potatoes, we'll do a little parsley in there, uh, some shallot, Man, I didn't mean to mix the shallot in there. It's all right. Still doable. All right. Let's get some butter out. Just booked Saturday 7th gig for the band. You guys should come out that weekend. No, I don't, I, I'm not, I, I only use Kerrygold for certain things. Woo! Caught that nicely. That caught onto my my rag right there. All right, we're gonna get some butter sliced up for our potatoes. Can't have mashed potatoes without butter. That's for sure. Toss all my butter in. We're gonna check on our salmon skin again. Remember, because the heat. The, the residual heat changes. We're just going to do a full stick to start. We'll go from there. Alright, one thing of butter in. Let's check our skin. All right, so we're starting to get the skin cracking. Starting to heat up nicely. The skin's getting a nice touch, so I turn the heat down. Low, medium, low. Um, all right, potatoes. I'm turn the heat on a little more. We're gonna get milk poured in there. We're gonna throw some of our, don't worry, I'll show you guys. Our ginger with parsley. Okay. Some 
garlic. I'm trying to work around the shallot. And some garlic. Garlic powder. Some pep. Of course, salt. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Holy cow! Dang, what a game! What a freaking game! That's crazy. All right, so with the salmon here, you can see we're getting a little color change on the small end and on this end. The salmon color is starting to change because it's starting to really cook through. We're gonna flip it over. We got our skin is nicely crisping up. We're gonna kiss it on this side to get a nice little crust going in our oil. And then we're gonna finish back on the uh, skin side and let it crisp up a tad bit more. But I just wanna mark that side before it cooks all the way through. All right, I gotta jump on these potatoes. I'm gonna start um, kind of hand mashing. We got heat going. I'm kind of hand mashing. I was gonna bring out my mixer, but I gotta clean it and stuff. And and so we're just gonna do a little hand mash tonight. Get this out of here. Transfer over to the front. So I'll, I'll pop it in that camera in a sec, guys. Let me just. Get it going. So from this point forward, you want to keep a, a close eye on your salmon. Salmon will cook up real quick on you. You won't even know it. I'm gonna add some more milk in here. They're gonna the starch is gonna tighten it up so you can add you know a little bit more. It's okay. Let's look at our salmon, see how our crust is coming on our presentation side. So you can see we got a nice little color going on here. We're going to feel it. Just about done. So I'm going to crisp it, crisp the skin up just a tad bit more. And then we're going to take it off and let it rest. And we'll shoot our other one right back on there. Michael Brocker, what's up, baby? Where's your KitchenAid? Oh, it's in the... It's in a bag in storage. I just haven't, I haven't used it. Haven't had a need for it, uh, but I am now. So I'm planning on. I just gotta clean it up real nice. You know what I mean? Just give it a little deep clean. Oh, this thing might actually be working. I have no handle on it though. Sketch. I don't remember this breaking. Man, it works too. I just. If I had a handle for this, it'd be a whole different story. Let's see if we can do this. It's actually kind of working though. died on the cruise. Aubrey kept ordering escargot for the appetizer. <laughs> she would. Alright. Skin is perfect. We're taking this piece of fish off. Let it rest. Let grab a plate. Okay. I'll throw that on the cutting board for you guys while I get our next one prepared. Go. 
I'm gonna add a little more oil into my pan. I'm shooting over that next salmon. Perfect. I'm gonna jump over to these potatoes. Start mixing more. Oh yeah, our potatoes are looking great. Woo! They need more creaminess now. I'll show you guys in just a sec. We're gonna add a little more milk. There we go. So we got ginger, fresh ginger, a little fresh garlic, garlic powder, salt, pepper, milk, butter. I'm gonna add a little ginger powder in there as well. So, enhance that ginger flavor just a little bit more. Remember, a little goes a long way. All right. Smell great. I'm gonna add a little more milk. I want them a little creamier. And then those are chilling. Check our salmon out. See how our skin's starting. Get nice and crisp. Looking good. We're gonna add a tad bit more oil. Spread it along that skin. Sweating like Ryan at the the barbecue renovation. Oh my gosh. Ryan and I got got a broken leaking barbecue fixed up yesterday it was dope drew always killing it in the kitchen i appreciate it mike all right guys i'm gonna get my pan started in the back we're gonna get that started for our uh for our corn spicy corn um let me mix these potatoes and i'll peek them over in the camera for you guys gotta love the skin on baby We got our beautiful mash going. All right. Just a little taste test. Need a little more salt. Pep. Garlic powder. Ginger's like perfect. And then a little milk, a little more creamy. All right. Skin on our salmon. We're gonna go a little longer, and then we're flipping it. Pan is heating up. All right, my potatoes are getting nice and creamy. They're also gonna keep, as you keep the heat on your potatoes, Regardless of how creamy you get them right now, they're gonna tighten up on you until you serve them. So, always just know that you might have to add a little bit extra. All right, we're gonna leave it on low. We're gonna let that chill. Oh yeah. You guys ready for this plate? Our next topic, favorite fish. I'm gonna go with uh, chili and white sea bass. All right, our pan's getting nice and hot for our corn. We're gonna flip our salmon, nice crunchy crisp 
skin right there. Looking great. We got a hot pan in the back. Gonna All right, I'm gonna rotate my camera. I'll tap it over so we get both both pans. You got a nice little half and half of the corn and the salmon. Rinsing out a dish real quick. Give me a sec. Remember, a little soaking goes a long way, baby. All right, let's drop some earl. I'm gonna throw a little more in the salmon. We need for our corn. All right, nice hot pans. I'm gonna break up the corn with my uh, with my hands from this pot over here, and then we're dumping it in. All right, here we go. Let's get that corn in, baby. Red bell. I'm gonna leave a little residual in the pan. Uh, we're going poblano. Anaheim, all the jalapeno, make sure I get all that jalapeno, alright, salmon I think is done, oh yeah, have the gear, Salmon's done. Take that off to rest. Skin's nice and crisp. Got our L salmon. All right. Well, we're done with this pan, so we can just do the old switcheroo. Let's do this. Get you dialed in. How we looking? What are your thoughts on Cajun? I like, I think Cajun is delicious. Woo! Those flavors right there, I had it on a high heat, so I kind of want to crisp it up. Oh yeah. I'm adding all my residual from my pan. The rest of the poblano in the red. I already put all the Anaheim and jalapeno. All going in. All right. Let that do it. Toot that thing up, mommy. Make it roll. All right. Let's get some cilantro cracked up and ready. I'm gonna scrape with my knife all the liquid off my cutting board from the peppers. Let's grab our cilantro. Shoot back over.
Remember, nice in a hot pan. Mmm. Tastes so good. Oh my gosh, the heat is perfect. Wait till we get this fresh cilantro in there. Salt, pep, garlic powder. That's about to be the play, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Come on, chat. You guys ready for this? Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat right now, guys. If you're ready to see our salmon dinner come together, baby, let's go. I can't wait to get these new emotes going. You guys are going to love it. Be back, baby. Episode 8. So many to go. Thank you, each and every one of you guys that are here watching. I appreciate it. All the subs, bits, follows tonight. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. All right, we're going to toss our cilantro in. With all the additions of everything else I just said. Okay, let's get our uh, pepper. Salt, garlic powder, let's go, Gatolindo 2015, thank you for the follow, thank you for being here, glad you're, uh, glad you're here, hope you're enjoying your time, thanks for the follow. Everyone, go ahead and welcome on in. Get a lindo. Appreciate it. I've learned to make sure I eat before watching. Just makes me... <laughs> Chenzo gushed. Uh, guys, this corn, though, not going to lie. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go. Plating up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and we got to make sure we grab our compound butter, what we're going to finish off with, right? All right, salmon has rusted. I'm going to toss it in the oven. I'm going to turn my oven on 200 just to warm it so that butter melts over it. Caden already ate half a box of mac and cheese, so if he's still hungry and he's awake, he can have a bite. We need a JMO emote? Yeah, we will. It just won't be quite JMO. You know what I mean? It'll be a knockoff, but we will. We're going to get... I'll, I'll leak a little to you guys. I'm planning on doing a Caden emote. Um, JMO. Daisy. And then I think like a knife, like a chopping emote. For sure, Mama, you got it. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Let our salmon heat up. This is on low. There's a. Uh... This corn, though. If you put any more jalapeno, it'd be too spicy. It is absolutely. Perfect. And the smokiness. The smokiness. Woo! From those peppers is great. Alright. Let's do this, guys. We're going to get ready to plate up. I'm going to throw a couple things back where they go. And we are plating up. We're going to grab our butter. Got our butter, it's pretty rock hard. Looking good. Kaylee emote, the mama emote. Well, cool. Now you guys ruined her surprise. I was gonna make her the T2 emote. She's out here gifting all these subs. I think she deserves a little better. She's gonna be our T2 emote. Is that that's gonna be Kaylee? Whatever. You guys are spoiling this shit. 
All right, let's clean up our plating area. butter we got I got my little my little butter cutting board right here so what I'm gonna do grab a knife I'm gonna cut cut my plastic end off over here Unwrap my butter. Like that. Frickin' Ryan. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Looks like Drew needs a blast chiller like on Chopped. Whew. For me to walk into, please. All right, everything's perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, um, so our butter, let's slice our little cubes. So we got our butter. We're gonna take that end off and we're gonna cut little, little chips. This could be colder, could have froze it, I guess. The colder it is, like if you do it a day ahead, it's gonna, you know, obviously be a little better. But this is fine. It's, it's. I'm not worried. It's coming out perfect circles. It's all that matters. All right. Let's do that one. Perfect. All right. So we have our little butters. Plate up time. Yeah, we have plate up emo too, right? Yeah, we got. You know, one day. One day. We'll be partnered and we'll have access to many emotes. All right, I'm gonna grab my salmon out the oven. I had it on low just to heat it up again. So we can melt that butter. Perfect. All right, let's get our mashed potatoes down. Thinking. this up real quick. Oh. Definitely not worried butter's involved. Damn right. corn down, how I had it kind of pictured up in my mind. I'll put a little bit on the outside of the potatoes around the plate. 
We're gonna let those colors really peek through. And then, grab our Samoa, nice and hot. Have an idea. Give me one second, guys. I'm thinking. Maybe I'll just go right on top. I was thinking about cutting it. I think it'd be fine just like this. I gotta do my lemons. This one piece has a weird side that I want to I want to take off. All right, I'm gonna do. I gotta get my lemon. The lemon juice on the salmon. One sec, I'm gonna cut this uh, other salmon side. I'm not a fan of the small side. lemon juice on there. We're going to take our butter chips, lay that on top of our salmon. Wait for it. Then we need our sliced lemon. Wait for it. Not quite done. So our butter's starting to melt down, which is perfect. And then we're gonna grab some dill. Tad bit more of that fresh dill. It looks so damn pretty. Gotta grab the right sprig. I'm gonna throw that with my lemon. Okay. We're gonna go up to the other, uh, we're gonna go on over to the other camera, just a sec. to add a little bit more corn onto this plate. Some more red showing. Perfect. All right, let's go on to our camera over here so you guys can see closer. You see our butter dropping down, slowly melting our compound butter with all that flavor built into it, starting to seep over and sauce up our plate. Looking delicioso. I'm gonna take a couple pictures so you guys can see it on the high res on the on the socials. Jeez. 
snapping a couple shots, guys. Give me a sec. Okay. One select focus picture. All right, looking good, guys. All right, guys. So let's, we're gonna go everything over everything in just a second. Um, but we had an absolute delicious meal coming our way. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. We got our pan-seared sockeye salmon with our compound butter melted over. We've got our ginger garlic mash underneath, accompanied by our spicy corn. I'm going to call it a spicy smoky corn because it's got some smoke on it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get some uh, Cousin Drew emotes in chat for this delicious dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I appreciate all you guys sticking around, being here tonight. Um, we got some bits, we got some subs, we got some follows. Let's go over everything. Um, recent events. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. So, we had uh, Al come through with the resub, tier one for 10 months. Alyssa with the resub for 15. Kaylee gifting a sub, sub over to our new friend, Wisconsin. Bizzle32 joining the family tree with a, sub, with a Twitch Prime. Wisconsin dropping that follow. Pops coming through with a 12 month resub and 300 biddies. Nate dropping 500 biddies. And Gatalindo coming through with that hot follow. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for being here tonight. It was an absolute blast. Episode 8. Um, you know, picking back where we left off, guys. Um, thank you so much for being here. Each and every one of you, family, friends, new friends, everybody. Thank you, guys. Um, check out Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, um, any social media. Check my website, CousinDrewsCookingShow.com. You'll see high-res pictures of the food all on there. I will be posting it right when we get started eating. So um, everyone have a great night. I'm going to put my little intro, outro video on for you guys, and I'm getting out of here. I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you on Wednesday night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I love each and every one of you guys, all you new members of the family tree, and all you resubs. Welcome back. Welcome in. Thank you, guys. I will see you on Wednesday. Let's get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. I'll fix it, Pops. I didn't even realize. Everyone have a great night.